Shayan. Lift your hands in the presence of the Lord, won't you? Come on, everybody in this place. Those of you that are watching by Facebook, television, wherever you may be watching from, just begin to tell the Lord you rule and you reign forevermore. Come on, tell him you rule and you reign forevermore. And I feel the presence of the Lord in this place tonight. Still you reign. Still you move. Still you're king. And Lord of all. Still you reign. Still you rule. Still your king and Lord of all. Still you reign. Still you move. Still your king and Lord of all. Still you reign. Still you rule. Still your king and Lord of all. Everybody say that, come on. Still you reign. Still you move. Still your king. Come on, everybody. And Lord of all. Still you reign. Come on, everybody sing that. Still you rule. Still your king and Lord of all. I want to hear you sing that. Come on. Still you reign. Still you rule. Still your king and Lord of all. Still you reign. Lord of all, come on, let's take it up. Still you rule. I want to hear y'all sing that. Still your king and Lord of all. Still you reign. Still you rule. Still your king. And Lord of all, come on, everybody sing that. Come on, still you reign, still you rule, still your king, and Lord of all, still you reign, still you rule, still your king. And Lord of all, listen, come again and adore him. Come on, come again and adore him. Come on, saints, come again and adore him. Cause he's Lord of all, cause he's Lord of all. Come again and adore him. Come on, sing it. Come again and adore him. Come again and adore him. Cause he's Lord of all Come again and adore him Come again and adore him Come again and adore him Cause he's Lord of all Still you rule Oh, you can sit down Still you rule Still your king Lord of all, still you rule, still you reign, still your king, and Lord of all.
Still you reign. You can be seated in his presence. Still you rule. Still you reign. Cause you Lord of all. Still you rule. Still you reign. Still you king. And Lord of all, still you reign. Still you rule. Still your king. And Lord of all. Still you reign, still you rule, still you king, and Lord of all, still you reign, yes you do, Jesus, still you rule, still you king, and Lord of all. And Lord of all, still you reign, still you rule, still you king, Lord of all. So again I adore you, so again I adore you. So again I adore you Cause you're Lord of all So again I adore you So again I adore you So again I adore you You still reign, you still rule, you're still the king, 
Hallelujah. You still the Lord of all. Oh, you still reign. Oh, you still rule. Oh, you still the King and the Lord of all. You still reign. You still rule. You're the King of kings and the Lord of all. You still reign. You still rule. You still the King and Lord of all. You still reign. And you still rule. You still the King and the Lord of Lords. Oh, you still reign. Oh, you still rule. Oh, you still the King and the Lord of all. You still reign. You still rule. You still the King and Lord of Pray in the Holy Ghost. No weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon. Because it's still ring, still rule. You're still the king and lord of all. You're still reign and you're still rule. And you're still the king of lord of all. You still reign and you still rule. And you're still the king and the lord of all. The lord over cancer. The lord over diabetes. You're the lord over syphilis. You're the Lord of a cancer. You're the Lord of every disease. You're the Lord of every disease. That's why you still reign. You still rule. You still the King and Lord of all. Yes, you still reign and you still rule and you still the King and Lord. shall confess that he is Lord. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that you Every intercessor has to know how to worship. Every intercessor got to know how to worship. Get up, Cheyenne. Every intercessor got to know how to worship. Hold on, my shot. When it's time to worship, we don't have workers. When it's time to worship, we don't have nurses. When it's time to worship, nobody is important. When it's time to worship, there are no titles. Because every knee is bowing at the power and the name of Jesus. You're watching now. Just get your hands up. It's time for worship. This is what the enemy hates. Because when we worship, we put God in control of every circumstance. When we worship, we make the devil out of the liar that he is. When we worship, we subdue him. When we worship, we cancel his contract. When we worship, we cut his head off and throw it all over the wall. And we claim the victory. Somebody worship. You're king of kings and you're lord of lords. And you rule over everything. Still you reign. Still you rule. Still you rule, 
soon. Still your king and Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Showtime is over. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody came looking for anything? Thank you, Jesus. Come on, give him thanks. Come on, give him thanks. You say you don't know what I'm going through. But I hear the Lord saying, this is the will of the Lord concerning you. Oh, yes. Because it's still real. It's still real. And the presence of the Lord, every yoke is broken. And the presence of the Lord, every burden is lifted. 
house in the presence of the Lord. If it is Jesus canceled, intercessor if you're not a worshiper. It's impossible. Worship is how we enter into other dimensions. Without it, there is no access. Without it, there is no access. And what you will find is people Wanting to know how to pray. But is not in high pursuit as to how to worship. Because worship is going to require honesty. And worship is going to inquire and require integrity. And when you don't have it, it's difficult. Because many, think, many people think that worship is what you do. But worship is who you are. God, Abusha, touch your neighbor and say, you got to become this thing. Come on, come on, say it with conviction. Tell them, you got to become this thing. Tell them, worship is not what you do. Tell them, prayer is not what you do. It's who you are. And if that's not you, then I understand why tonight you can't do it. Come on here, somebody. I know now why you can't do it. I know. 
don't know why you can't break through. Because it ain't you. We're going to the text tonight. We're going to the text tonight. Get your Bibles and go back with me to Joshua, the fourth chapter. Everything, 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 everything has to be in harmony with what God is doing. Somebody say everything. Thank you so much. So we are dealing with a text of the scripture. Take some of the bottom off and put some high on it. And although I read this text last night and last week, Still, the Lord is revealing and unveiling some things about this text that is still speaking prophetically to us. And so we may be sitting here in Joshua, the fourth chapter, for some time because I'm, I'm, I'm sensing a, a pattern here. I'm sensing that there is something that God is trying to say to us in this text and it is so very loaded. It is so very loaded. I read it last Tuesday and pastor read it again on Sunday. And I want to take my time tonight because of the fact that we're going to be sitting here for a while. I want to read the text. And it says here in the ninth verse and they let through the 11th verse. And Joshua set up 12 stones in the midst of the Jordan. In the place where the feet of the priest bearing the ark of the covenant had stood. And they are there to this day. For the priests who bore the ark stood in the midst of Jordan. Until everything was finished that the Lord commanded Joshua to tell the people. According to all that Moses had commanded Joshua, the people passed over in haste. When all, somebody say all. all. Somebody say it again, all. all. When all the people had passed over. The ark of the Lord, the priest went over in the presence of the people. When all the people had passed over, the ark of the Lord and the priest went over in the presence of the people. So what we're seeing here, we're noticing that we are dealing with a dual action here, and I want to I want to I want to bring clarity to the dual action that I'm seeing in this text. And those of you that are watching by uh, television and by internet, put your postmark there because we're going to be here for a while in this particular chapter and verse. The dual action that is going on in this text is giving me clarity about the word that God exploded in our faces last week and when they had finished, and when they had finished. When I tell you that text, Mother Gathers has been rolling over in me to the point that I'm saying, God, I don't know what you're getting ready to do with this word when they had finished. Are y'all hearing it? The first thing, I want to make note to is that the priest did not move until everybody had passed. He had me to look at that really close today. The priest did not move. The priests that were bearing the ark did not move until everybody had passed. Okay, let's get a real clear visual of this. 
over two million people are moving through the Jordan. And the Jordan is opened up at the commandment of Joshua. And the priests are going into the Jordan. And they're going into the Jordan holding the Ark of the Covenant. And the priest did not move from that place. They stood in the center of the Jordan on, on dry ground until over two million people had passed. And see, that's a, that, that right there is a preach by itself because you can't be weak and be an intercessor. Oh, he's saying something right there. You can't be a person that's always ready to give up quick because the journey is long and the journey is hard. And we have to understand that when we've been given an assignment to do, you cannot fail in that assignment because they said that the priest had to stay there, which means at some point in time, people, it had to be not about the priest. I'm not hearing y'all. They had to understand that, that, that if I drop this ark, half of a nation is going to die. Good Lord have mercy. I felt that in my spirit right there. Because the ark of the Lord is in us, which is the word of God. And we're carrying that ark with us. And you have to understand tonight, in this master class, and those that are watching by television and internet, if you drop the ark of the covenant, if you allow any word that God says hit the ground in your life, if you do not complete any assignment that God has given you, half of a nation could die. God. Touch a neighbor and tell your neighbor, whatever is wrong with America, it has something to do with your ark. So oh, I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me. It has something to do, it has something to do with the with the with the legs of your priest that is wobbling. No, the Bible tells us that we are the priest. We are the priesthood now. And our legs have begun to shake. And many of us have taken the Ark of the Covenant and parked it on the side. Many of us are taking vacation breaks and all this kind of stuff. But let me tell you something. We are in a crucial hour now. And we cannot afford to let the Ark of the Covenant die. It is time to hold up the bloodstained banner. Who am I talking to? Oh, Jesus. that he revealed is that the priest Lord have mercy Jesus was following the command from Joshua they were following a command from Joshua Mother Gavis it's, 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 it's important to understand tonight that my finish may be in your command Can I just walk this word tonight? We've been we had been working in this room, so if I don't if I'm if I sound all tired or whatever, I, I'll be better next week. But we had been working in this room, and, and 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 every time, you know, we was about to give up for the night, and and, and call it a day. We in here painting, and we in here hanging curtains, and so you're in here with it, and so you're looking and you're looking and you're looking and you're looking. And we're up close to it, and we're looking at things, and we and, and we painting, and 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 and, and uh, 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 Rosalie, raise your hand, baby. Rosalie is painting, and and, and Misha, and all Misha on the camera over there, and, and 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 BJ right there. Raise your hand, baby, right there. And so we just we just working and working and working and working and working, and we just stood back one night, and we said it looked real good. It looked real good. But Mother gathers who was not painting was sitting in the back of the church. And she said, Bynum, come here. And I said, yes, mother. She said, I see a spot right there. And I said, mother, where? She said, right there. And I'm telling you, I'm looking with everything that I could possibly scratch my eye. And I'm saying, mother, where? And she steps back off of me and looks me up and down and said, you don't see that? And I said, mother, I don't. She said, follow my hand. You see that pipe right there? You see that line right there? Now you follow that line. What am I trying to say? This room has the potential to be finished, but it takes somebody with an eye to help you to understand. Did you see that spot right there on your life? 
Did you see that spot right there in your attitude? Do you see that spot right there in the way that you walk, in the way that you talk? I'm not hearing y'all. And it takes somebody else to tell you, let me lead you to where the spot is. Your finish is in somebody else's command. Because you know you got people saying, I want to hear from the Lord. You can't hear from the Lord. You got people saying, I want to hear from God himself. You cannot hear from God himself. Because what he's going to teach us to do is to follow his pattern. And his pattern was always in the position of a command. I'm going to give somebody instructions and you're going to have to follow what they say if you want to finish. Watch this, watch this. Joshua is following a command from, wait a minute, from Moses. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, mother. He is following a command from Moses. I didn't say, wait a minute, you mean to tell me that the Jordan opened up for Joshua because Moses said so? Oh my God. See, that's why, that's why, that, oh God. See, becoming a master intercessor, people think becoming a, a, a master intercessor is, 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 is really being a renegade. You know, I can hear from God for myself. But in order to get the job done, you need a commander. You need somebody to say, I know what you feel today, but this is what God is saying. Go this way. Are you telling me that the Jordan River opened up because Moses told Joshua to do this? Come on, somebody. The Bible said that Joshua led the people through the Jordan on ground because Moses said so. Not God. But Moses said so. Come on, let's unravel this puzzle. Let's unravel this puzzle. Moses said so. Okay, Moses said so. Well, then let's go back. How does Moses have the power? Moses was a man like Joshua. How does he have the power to get the Jordan open? Oh my God. How does Joshua get accredited for getting the people across and going into the promise? Moses was accredited for bringing the people out of Egypt. Joshua is accredited for getting the people to go into the promise. Y- y- y'all ain't saying that. So you got two commanders on two different sides. I'm not hearing y'all. There's not a disconnect there, people. You got two commanders on two different sides. But the link, the link, the link is, the link to them going in is connected to Moses telling Joshua what to do. So why did the Jordan open? Why did the Jordan open for Joshua? Why did the Jordan open for Joshua? Because the person that was commanding him to do it was a finisher. I did this before. I'm not hearing y'all. And the problem is, you got people telling you what to do, and they've never done it before. Oh, the Holy Ghost going to talk in here today. You got people out here trying to mentor you, and you ain't never parted the water. Who am I talking to? You ain't never ran a revival. You never packed an auditorium. You never battled a demon. You've never done this before. That's the reason why we have a lot of emotionalism, but not a lot of parting of the waters. Not a lot of miracles. Why? Because the assignment that I am getting, I'm getting it from a person who've never finished. Oh God. Oh God. Anybody listening? Anybody listening? Anybody? Because Moses had authority. It opened because the waters understood who he was. Y'all didn't hear me. It opened because Moses said, I opened the Red Sea. This is just a Jordan River. I'm not hearing y'all. You can get across this. I did it. Head of the When the walls was tired in me. Who am I talking to right now? 
That's the reason why I'm in this building today. You're watching my television. Whatever you're going through, I'm here to tell you that you can make it and you are about to break through in this thing. How do I know that? Because I did it. You don't have to be threatened by nobody when you're a finisher. I said you don't have to be jealous of nobody when you're a finisher. Because your works will speak for you. Who am I talking to? They still talking about Moses to this very day. Because he finished. Oh, y'all, 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 sit down. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Woo. Y'all ain't saying that. Y'all ain't saying that. Glory to God. Somebody said glory to God. Somebody said glory to God. Somebody said glory to God. No, 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 no. It's a power. It's a power in it. So, so, so then let's ask ourselves. Then, 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 then how did Moses get the power to finish? Wait a minute. So, y'all, I'm teaching you, trying my best to teach you something about the master levels of intercession. Where when you pray about stuff, oh God, I'm gonna say something right here. Come what? There's gonna be some days when your when when your faith gonna be shaken, but my authority is not. Okay, 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 okay. Because watch this, watch this. Because the enemy doesn't move because he feels threatened by your faith. The enemy doesn't move because he feels intimidated by what you believe. The enemy moves when it's somebody that is talking that has authority. And how do I know that I have authority? Because devil, you tried this one, but I finished. Oh my God, who am I talking to? You did this, but I finished. You took me through this, but I finished. Oh, y'all, you better hear her. You better hear the Lord tonight. You better hear the Lord tonight. You got more power than you think you got. You got more of an anointing than you think you got. If the devil has ever done anything to you and you overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the words of your testimony. Not only do I have the power to finish. Watch this now. I'm back in the back in the mob days. Yo, yo, y'all sit down. Yo, 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 y'all can't watch me like that. Back in back in the mob days, uh, one person will kill you, and they'll leave the premises, and then they call for a cleaner. Come on, somebody, and the cleaner gotta come. And, and, and clean up everything. Come on, somebody. When, 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 listen, when God has called in you to master level in intercession, you are called the finisher. No, devil, you started this. But when it looks like you ain't going to let go, the Lord will call for a finisher. Oh, I can't get nobody to talk to me right there. Hey, he ain't getting ready to call nobody. That's how your own fast. He ain't getting ready to call nobody. That's how your own doings. He is looking in the earth realm for finishers because they are the ones that have the power. You're wondering today, why in the world have I gone through everything that I've gone through? Because God said, in the end time, I'm going to need a finisher. Somebody better give God a praise right there. Somebody better give God a praise right there. Somebody better give him a praise right there. No, the devil don't want you to praise him because he wants you to think you ain't got no power. He don't want you to praise him because he wants you to think you ain't got no victory. Who am I talking to? You better praise God because you've been to hell and back. You better praise God because he's trying to knock your head off. Yo, 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 sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Hmm. Oh, by Shekara Bohosaya. Oh, by Shekara. Oh, by Shekara. No, I don't feel good today, but I'm a finisher. Go, by Shekara Bohosaya. 
No, I don't feel 100%, but I'm a finisher. It's not my body that's going to knock your head off. It's my finish that you scared of. You better open up your mouth and say something up in here. Some of you all have survived some things that people would have blown their brains out for. Some of you all have come through them stuff that you ought to be in the crazy house. You should have went and jumped off of a cliff. But the fact that you finished, the devil is afraid of you. You better give God a shout up in here. Let me, let me, let me. The Bible said, uh, Y'all listening to this? Are you hearing this? Are you hearing? See, see. So, 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 so Dr. Biden, what did you say? My authority and the power that I operate in is generational. I'm not new. Okay. I, see, I'm not getting y'all to talk back to me. Some of y'all said, well, Dr. Biden, I've only been saved two years. You ain't new. You just came into the fold, but you was always in the womb. You were always in him. You were on his mind in the beginning. The reason why you are here today because you were part of the original plan. Touch somebody and say, I'm his latest weapon. Tell your neighbor, say, he's coming up on the back end now. Come on, tell your neighbor, say, come on, come on, somebody. Tell your neighbor, say, let, 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 say this, say this, say this. Wait, 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 wait. He did it with the church people in the beginning. Now he getting ready to do it with the prostitutes. Now he get, now he getting ready to do it with the street walkers. Now he getting ready to do it with the drug addicts. Now he do get getting ready to do it with the castaways and the people that we thought were never need anymore. How, why? Because he said, I gotta take the devil's work and stick it back in his face and show him that the last battle would be fought. By finishers. Y'all, y'all sit down. Y'all sit down. It says here. And how do I know? How do I know I'm a finisher? Because right when God gets ready to use you, the devil's job is to start reminding you of what he think you're not. But every time, hold the music, hold the music. Every time the devil reminds you of who you used to be, that is your time to help him to understand the word is used to, which means uh, I'm a finisher. Oh God, which means I have the authority to finish you off. Listen, I gotta do this. Listen, listen, listen. Watch this. Watch this. Y'all sit down. Let me, let me, let me. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. Whoo! My God. My God, Moses was powerful. God, watch this. He went to Pharaoh, dropped his rod down. Moses spoke, and things happened. The Lord, Moses, Moses spoke, and things began to change. He told the children of Israel to get ready. Because you're coming out of bondage. And we're going to leave Egypt. I want y'all to hear this. Well, well, what is the difference? I'm going to be preaching in Baltimore this weekend. And it's called the prophetic resoundings. What is the difference when, when, when I get a word from the Lord? 
Oh my God. What is the difference when I, get a, when I get a word from the Lord? When I get a word from the Lord? What is the difference when I have, when I have a spiritual authority that is linked to legacies? What does that mean? Oh God. God, I thank you, Jesus, for this. God, I thank you, Jesus, for this. Y'all, 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 y'all. So what does that mean? It means that, 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 that here we sit now where God is talking to Moses in the burning bush. And God is saying to him, the word, the word is a side of God that talks. And so the word is talking to Moses out of the burning bush. But what is it that gave him his power? What was it that gave him his power? Was it because he was the Lord God Almighty? Was it because he was a God that was, that was, that was omnipotent? Was it because he was a God that speak and men live and he speak again and men die. Was it the God that because if he, if he ever held his breath, the world would collapse? Because people would say, well, that was God. That was God that spoke to Moses like that. So Moses didn't have a choice but to be powerful because he got a command from God, not so. Moses became powerful, not just because God said it, but by the time that God got to Moses, he had already created the world in seven days and he rested and he finished something. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. No, you don't hear me. That's why the book of Hebrews, the 12th chapter, said he is the author and the finisher of my faith. I can tell you what to believe because I started what you believe and I finished what you believe. And because I finished everything I started, when I speak, y'all ain't hearing me. When y'all ain't hearing me, when I speak, then you are to speak those things would be not as though they were. Why? Because the finisher just told me, watch this, watch this, watch this. It is finished. You better hear God tonight. You better hear God tonight. Well, wait a minute, Dr. Barnum, wait a minute. Because if you say that, Jesus went to the cross in the Old Testament. In the New Testament, though the Bible said that he was slain before the foundation of the world. Somebody said, well then, it wasn't no flesh then because he had made a body. I'm, I'm not hearing y'all. But because he ain't made no body, how could he be crucified and slain before the foundation of the world was laid? Because all that is in God's mind is a reality. Mother, he ministered that thing to me. He said, everything in my mind is a reality. I don't think y'all hear me. The manifestation is so that humans can see me. But everything that's in my mind, it's a reality. Oh, you was human before I made you human. Uh, how do you think you became human? Because it was in my mind. Oh, y'all better hear God tonight. You better hear God tonight. And when he got to work in the world, when he got to making the ocean, when he got to making the sun and the moon and the stars and the said he finished up and on the seventh day he rested that's when he picks it up in Hebrews and said now you come on today and enter into that rest because I am the open the finisher of everything that you believe in if I say it y'all didn't hear me if I speak it you better shout like you got it in your hand you better shout oh So, a finishing being spoke to Moses in the burning bush. Okay, okay, can I, can y'all, y'all, y'all listening by internet, television? A finishing spirit, oh my God, is what was talking to him. Wait, 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 wait. A being that cried out throughout eternity that it is finished. A finishing spirit was talking to Moses 
That's why after I, I read that Mother Gabbers, I had no doubt that he was going to finish. I don't, I, don't, I don't think nobody just picked that up. He had to finish because finish had already told him to finish. Now see, I, 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 just, I just wish I had, come on, come on, I need a master class in here tonight. Come on, all the dummies hit the door. I, I, I'm not hearing you. Come on now, I need a master class. A finisher, a finisher, a finisher, a finisher. The finishing spirit is telling you to go ahead. Go ahead and sign for that. Uh -huh. A finishing spirit is, is telling you. that the, Watch this. Forget about what the doctor is saying. You already healed. Come on, come on somebody. A finishing spirit is telling you. I don't know, already made a way out of no way. And that's why I've never seen the righteous forsaken. No, his seed bent for bread. I'm not giving you a finishing spirit. Spirit is trying to tell you that everything is going to be all right. A finishing spirit is trying to tell you that I reckon that the present suffering of this present time is not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in me. A finishing spirit is saying I will trust in the Lord with all of my heart up and lean not up into my own understanding, but in all of my ways I will acknowledge the finishing spirit and he shall direct my path. Why? Because he finished before. He done did you before. He done did your situation before. He all the most up. He was touched by everything that you've ever been through. That's why I know you gonna make it. You better give God a praise. Sit down, sit down for a second. When you don't listen, can I just can I just give you a prophecy? Can I give you a prophecy? If you're watching and you're in here today and you don't feel like making it, well then that's just too bad because it's already been spoken. Of. A finishing spirit has already prophesied that you're going to reach the end. I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me. A finishing spirit is saying that I have already worked it out. A finishing spirit is saying I already got your divine connection. All I need you to do He's finished. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me give you this little story. Sit down. So, so one night, one night we was in here, and uh, they was doing the curtains, and they was putting up the curtains, and the girl was saying, "My arms are so sore." Uh, my neck is so stiff, I can't barely get up there. And I said, you can do this. You can do this. And she said, well, I made me some help. I said, no, 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 no. I said, you could do this. She's like, Dr. Banner. So a few minutes later, saw somebody else coming off the ladder. And they was like, Ugh. And I said, come here, you sore? She said, yeah. I said, turn around. So I started giving a little back rub. Little back massage. I said, You're gonna be all right. He said, Come on, shake yourself. He's like, All right, Dr. Bond. But you know, when you are working on something major, I'm a shit here, bye, 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 bye. right when you almost finish, everything about you wants to give up. Come on, that dumb spirit hits your mind and starts saying, Why am I doing this? And why am I even doing this? Because see, when you get when you get when you get weary like that, come on, somebody, mentally you start breaking down. And so the reason why it took a finishing spirit to speak and prophesy over your life, because he knows that your humanism halfway there is going to break down. I'm not hearing y'all. And that's why he said, for when I am weak, then am I stronger. I'm not hearing y'all. That's why he said, my grace is sufficient for you. And my strength is made perfect in your weakness. Because I'm the finisher. You're not. Hey, I just said something right there. I'm the finisher. I'm the author and the finisher. Which means when you get to a point that it looks like you're not going to make it. Your job, your responsibility is consult with the finisher. Your job is to speak to heaven and say, now I'm ready for the works of the finisher. I'm not hearing you. I'm not hearing you. Oh, oh, you thought, you thought, you, you thought you was a finisher. 
<laughs> it's almost like it's almost like you you uh you about to give up and you're working and you start saying to yourself, somebody say, you need to ask me, say, not right now. Not right now. Cause see, I don't know if you've ever been here, been to Africa before, and you know you take your own little uh, 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 headache medicine and stuff, and then you be over there a long time, and you run out, and you got that one pack left, that one BC, so your head start hurting, and somebody said, what's wrong? You said, my head hurt. Take an aspirin. Uh-uh. I got to save it for the big one. I can't, I can't take my last aspirin for no little old headache. I can wade through this one. So that's why when people talk about you, you can wade through that one. You don't, you don't go get the finisher for no foolishness. I just said something right there. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. You go, you go get the finisher for your future. Hey, shout out, Mosiah. Not for no foolishness. Who am I talking? You don't pull out your big gun for nothing stupid. I'm not hearing y'all. Oh yeah, tell somebody, keep it for your back pocket. That's why as a oh, that's why as a master class intercessor, when the enemy's taught raging, you can walk around with your head up and hell is breaking out around you. And people are looking at you like, don't you know you're going through hell? Yeah, but what you don't know is I got a weapon in my back pocket. I show city. I see Kababosha. Somebody give God a praise. Hey, 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 hey. I got a finisher in my back pocket. Wait, 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 sit down, sit down, sit down, y'all, sit down. Put it on the bull, sit down on the behind you, go to the machine, you watching my television, huh? You watching my internet, you better go ahead and post. I got a finisher in me. Hey, I got a finisher in me. <laughs> Don't let my outside fool you. <laughs> Don't let these tears make you mess you up now. Hey, 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 hey. Don't let the fact that today I couldn't get out of the bed make you think I done quit. No, I'm resting up. I'm taking a nap. I don't have to be filled with anxiety when I don't feel like getting up. I just won't. Because when it's time to get up, the finisher will get up in me. Who am I talking? Y'all better give God a shout up in this place. And so, and so, and so watch this, let me tell the story, y'all sit down, y'all, 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 let me, let me, let me, Jesus, let me tell the story. And so they, she was like, my shoulders is hurt. Dr. Bonneman, I'm so stiff. I said, okay. So in the middle of the night, you know, everybody just kind of be, everybody just stopped walking around like this. And you could see they was, they was, they was drunk in weariness. And one person walked up to me and said, what is you on? <laughs> I said, what? They said, what, it, what kind of pill did you take? I said, I said, I ain't took no pill. I said, the only drugs I take is called future. It's called, it's called future. I, I, I hear y'all, come on somebody, 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 come on somebody. Come on, come on, fulfillment, fulfillment, fulfillment of the future. Come, come on, somebody. That right there is a drug to me. Uh -huh. When I start getting tired, I, I, I just go to the side and just take a future pill. Oh, y'all, come on here. Y'all, the Bible said that the spirit of the Lord dwells with prudence. And the word prudence means those that look after their future. So if I want the strength of God, I got to keep my mind in my future. So, and so I said, I, t I, I, I told everybody, I said, y'all, 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 come around. Come around, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. Mother Gavin was in there. I said, come around, I'm going to talk to y'all. So they all started coming around. And they was looking like, and, and the music was on, and every now and then I would break out and do little ballet moves and stuff. They was looking at me like, this lady is crazy. Because I know we ain't had no sleep in almost two days, and she dancing and prouncing and carrying on. I said, can I tell y'all how I know y'all gonna make it? And they was like, yeah, yeah. yes ma'am. I said, because about 15, 20 years ago, when, when, when Dr. Johnson was doing the women's conference, and she said, I really wish I could have a women's luncheon, but we can't afford that. She said, because if we sold tickets, the tickets would be too much money. And she said, I just really wish we could, we could have a luncheon. And I said, Dr. Johnson, we can. She said, well, how? 
I said, in the multi-purpose room. She said, no, she said, well, I need it. it the multi-purpose room, it's it just all messed up. And, it, it ain't got no carpet on the floor, and it's all ragged, and, and the walls is messed up. And I, I said, if you just give me some fabric, and just trust me on this. And when I get through, if you don't like it, okay. That scaffold up there, I climbed up on that scaffold for a week and a half by myself. Them gold curtains that you see hanging up here, I would get up on the scaffold and climb it with the, with the, with the panel on my back. I would get up there and staple them curtains to the wall. Get back down off the scaffold. Get back up there. I started over there. Went around this entire building. All the way around here by myself. I said, now come on y'all. It's for y'all. I did it by myself. How I know you can do it? Because I don't already did it. Who am I to? Oh my God. Uh -huh. I know what you're feeling. Come on, somebody. I know your legs is so about now. I know your arms is so about now. I know you feel weary about now. But if one person can do it, I know we can do it. Why? Because a finisher is talking to you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Wait, 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 wait. Dr. Bynum, I just, I'm just trying to get my ministry off the ground. I'm talking to somebody right, right, right about there. I, I, I just been trying to, I got my flyers. I got my website. I got everything cooking for me. But I'm not going nowhere. It's like I just feel like I'm in a struggle. People always try to get in my way and hold me down. What, what, what's wrong? The Bible said, <laughs> when Joshua, at the command of Moses, and Moses, at the command of God, passed down the legacy of crossing over waters, God Abu Shaya, to Joshua, and Joshua crossed the people over the waters, the Bible said, when he finished, God exalted him. I'm not hearing you. You wonder why you ain't going nowhere? You ain't finished nothing. You won't even finish a Bible study. I'm talking to somebody. You won't even finish a, a paperback. I'm not hearing you. You won't even finish a pamphlet. You won't even finish an idea. That God, you won't even finish writing down an idea on one piece of paper. But what about exaltation comes when you finish. I'm not hearing you. And the Bible said, not only did God exalt him, but the people was a scared of him. The people was afraid of him. You ain't got to worry about nobody stepping to you. Finish something and God will exalt you. Okay, I got to talk about this right here. Y'all sit down. Y'all sit down. Sit down. Finish this. Finish this. I want to go, Dr. Biden, I just really wish I can go on, 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 on CNN. You, you ain't finished Facebook. Finish. I can't, I can't get y'all to talk to me. I can't, I, I can't get, your Facebook program is jacked up. All in your kitchen with the camera looking all up your nose. I'm not hearing y'all. Looking like you just rolled out the bed. Sitting on the camera half naked with all your boobs out. You ain't ready for no CNN. Ain't nobody gonna exalt you. I'm not hearing no talk to me. Because you don't, you don't have a finished look. You don't have a finished polished look. You still look ghetto. You still, you still look like you're trying to sell yourself. You still look like it's about how cute I am and not the power of God. You still all up in the body con dresses and want your boobs to be showed and, and want your shape to be shown. It's about your shape. I'm not here. It's not about your ministry. I'm not hearing you. And though you all dressed up with all your makeup on and all cute in all God to the Holy Ghost, you are unfinished can I help us tonight can I help us tonight tell somebody it's time to finish tell somebody it's time to finish and tell them you can't finish tell your neighbor you can't finish until you hear from the finisher 
sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Y'all listening? Y'all listening tonight? You listening tonight? I love you, I love you. I love you, but you gotta finish. Gotta finish. Gotta finish. Watch this. Watch this. I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you scripturally. Scripturally, in the book of Acts, I'm gonna show you people that try to be scapegoats with an image, but you ain't finished. I'm gonna show you people who got flyers out talking about we're doing intercessory prayer, but you ain't finished. I'm going to show you people that in the last hour now, prayer is the last resort. So if you ain't got no anointing, you ain't got no ministry, now you got a prayer line. Because prayer now is now the hot commodity. Prayer now is the famous thing. If you can't make it at nothing else, I'm just going to do prayer. And that'll get me over. Hard I will shop. But I know some people that did that. I know seven people that did that. They were the sons of Sceva. And they thought they were going to use the name without being finished. Mm. Mm. Can I bring it on home? They were, they were, they were sons of, 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 of devout Jewish prime ministers. Y'all didn't hear me. They had some clout. I'm going to say something right here. That's why you got to be careful all these people are all of a sudden coming down. Oh, Dr. Bam, you my spiritual brother. No, you ain't. No, 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 no. You, you don't look like me. You are not of me. I, I, I'm not hearing y'all talk. No, none of my daughters look like sluts like that. No, don't, don't lie on me. Don't go around this country telling people, if you wear a body con dress and you a preacher, I'm not your mama. That's all. That's all. So then. So now we just narrowed that down so you don't have to say, well, I wonder who she's talking to. If you got stuff all snatched up around your breast, looking all sexy, I'm not your mama. Don't lie on me because I will call the pastor and tell him she lied. She lied. I'm not her mama. No, no, no. Come on here, somebody. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't saying them Boobs all out. Come on, somebody. I'm not getting nobody to talk to me. I ain't getting nobody to say nothing. Lord Jesus, it's done got quiet in here. It's done got quiet in here. I said it's done got quiet in here. Sons of, sons of Sceva tried to put on the image of the master class. Tried to put on the image of an intercessor. Tried to put on the image of somebody that knew the name of Jesus. So what they did understand is that that name had power. I don't have no life behind it. I'm not committed to God. I'm not living right. I don't have, oh y'all are here. I don't have a prayer life. But because I know that prayer work, let me use it. Is y'all hearing this? So they said, we're going to call on the name of Jesus. And we're going to. Cast out the devil. We can do this because our fathers are priests. I can do this because I done snatched myself up on a spiritual father. And so you got to be careful because all of the spiritual father mother stuff, you got people gravitating to people that are famous as your spiritual mother and father because you really don't want to be mothered. You really don't want to be fathered. You want to be famous. I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Yeah. And see, it was apparent. It was apparent. It was apparent that their fathers had trained them how to have an image, but not a life. And so they said, Pastor, we're going to cast us out some demons. And they walked up to people that were demon possessed and used all the right words. Satan, I adjure you in the name of Jesus to come out. Demon spoke back. Wait, 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 wait. I feel something. I feel something right here. 
I feel shoot out of the Bahasaya. I feel some right about right about here. The demon spoke and said, Hold on. Paul, we know. Well, how, how do the demons know Paul? Why would they even have called his name? All the people had died before him. They called his name because they read his resume. And they said, oh, we know him because he was the one that had many journeys. He was the one that was in pails of water, but he finished. He was the one that had pails of robbers to steal from him, but he finished. He was the one that had pails of, of, of men and countries that turned on him, but he finished. He had pails of heathens, but he finished. He had pails in the city, pails in the wilderness, in the sea, pails of false brethren, but he finished. He was weary. He was pained. But he was watching off them. He was hungry and thirsty. He was fasting off them. He was in cold. He was naked. Oh, y'all. Yeah. Besides all of this, that cometh upon me daily, the cares of the churches, but I finish. He is weak, but I finish. He was offended, but he finished. I'm not giving up. He had a garrison to hold him, but he escaped. And he went into the basket just to name a few. I'm not giving y'all, but I finished. That's why Paul, we know. We know a finisher. You ain't no finisher. Paul, we know. And, and Jesus, we can't get it is finished out of our ears. I, I, I'm not hearing you. Come on, somebody. I, Jesus, 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 oh, oh, the one that was whipped that had the, that had the crown of thorns on his head, the one, the one that was pierced in the side, but, oh, wait, 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 the one that fell down while he was carrying his cross and he could have said, I can't, but he, but, 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 watch this, but not only did he go to the cross, but while he was up there, he got somebody saved him, we know him. Because hell is familiar with all the finishers. Oh God. Why, why y'all ain't saying them back to me? Why y'all, I said, why y'all ain't saying them back to me? Oh, you want somebody's mantle? Oh, 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 oh that's what you want? Is that what you want? Well, 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 with, with, with prophets, you know, I just, I, I, I feel the Lord got a prophetic anointing on my life, and I just, I just feel like you, you just my mother, till I cut the fire at you. <laughs> till I rebuke you. Because it's my job to finish you. Oh, my God. <laughs> No, 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 no. It's my job to tell you that ain't good right there. You're not finished right there. Oh, I'm not hearing y'all say nothing. I'm not hearing y'all say, oh, oh, so you want to be like Elijah. You want to be like, well, guess what? He had to wait until Elijah finished. He got a mantle from somebody that finished. The enemy don't want you to be connected with people that are finishers. He wants you to be connected with people that's traveling like you. Y'all better say something up in here. Y'all better say something up in here. He wants you, he want, why was it? Because he loves identification. And so we have a comfort and say, oh, you going through that? I'm going through that. Oh, that hurt you? That hurt me too. Oh, that offended you? That offended me too. Oh, you feel down? I feel down too. You feel like giving up? I feel like giving up too. But a finisher, when you say, I feel like giving up, go sit down somewhere. I don't think I'm going to make it. You'll be all right tomorrow. I, I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. 
Who am I talking to? That hurt my feelings will get ready to be hurt all the time. I'm not here. Uh, well, I, I just, I just want to tell her off. Shut your mouth. That's what you do. You shut your mouth and go sit down. Why are you talking to me like that? Because I'm a finisher and I already know how this going to turn out. And I know if you don't shut your mouth, you ain't going to finish. I'm not hearing y'all. Come on, somebody. You're going to be always weighed in the balance and found wanting. I'm not hearing y'all. Who am I talking to? I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. But the Bible says he is the author. The creator, the originator of where he has taken you in prayer. And he is the finisher. I looked that word up. Finisher. And it says, having in your possession the last particle of the manufacturing of a major machine. The devil hates you because you got the last piece. Woo! I good Lord, I could have ran out of this room right now. I said, the devil hates you because you got the last piece. Come on, here, somebody. The devil hates you because the way the warfare gonna stop in your family, you holding the last piece. Who am I talking to right now? I'm ministering to somebody right now on Facebook. The reason why your warfare is great, it's not even about you. The devil hates you because you are the finisher. You are the one that's holding the last piece to your family. And it's about to break. Somebody better give God a shout. I said give him a shout. Because it's about to break. Hey, hold your cover the most I said, give God a shout. The devil tried to abort your ministry. The devil tried to make you run too fast. The devil tried to keep you in an unfinished state. Who am I talking to? But you gotta finish. Sit down and I end with this. He don't want you to finish. He wants you to keep starting. But Pastor, he don't want us to finish. He don't want us to finish. He said, Dr. Bonner, why don't you go home? I can't. You look tired, I know. Didn't go home for three days. Walking around here. No, I gotta finish. Oh, oh, let them do it. I got to finish. So I ran home yesterday, and I was going to run back. And uh, some people, did the Bible says submit one to another. So Antoinette, and, 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 and she was like, I don't think you should go back out because it's, it's getting bad out there, and, and, and you too tired, and you're going to try to drive, and, 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 and you're weary. And I said, well, I'll just relax for a few minutes. So I got ready to get up. They said, mm-mm, mm-mm. We, we, we don't sense it. We don't sense it. Because you got praying people around you. You got got to listen. So I said, all right. I said, all right, I ain't going. They said, good, you need to rest. I said, okay. So we all downstairs in the family room. And one I'm on the lounge chair, the other one on the couch. And I'm back in my armchair, laid back. And we just talking. They said, yeah, you need to rest. Bro. I said, okay, give me something to eat. Okay, got to grab me something to eat. You just need to relax. I'm just sitting there. All of a sudden, I heard one of them snoring and the other one snoring. <laughs> And guess what I was doing, sis? I was sitting up in a chair like this. No TV, no nothing. You know why? Because I'm a finisher. I got that phone. I said, what's going on? I said, they sleep now. What's going on? Corey, what's going on? What they doing now? What they paying? Take a picture. No, no, no. Take a picture. How they doing the stage? Is they doing it right? Take a picture. Uh-uh. Wait a minute. Where Rosalie is? She paying? What's she paying? Take a picture of the ceiling. Mother gathers all night long. To 6.30 this morning. They said, you can't leave till about 6.30. When my alarm said 6.30, I jumped up. And today said, where you going? I said, I got to get there. I got to get there. Well, where you going? Because all I can hear is, you got to finish. You got to finish. And guess what? When God give it to you, can't nobody finish it for you. When God give it to you, you got to, you got to regulate it. When God give it to you, you got to navigate it. You can't take your eyes off of it. You can't take your, I'm not hearing you. You can't take your hands off of it. You got to be the one to call the shots. Because when it's all said and done, God is going to say to you, not them, well done, my good and faithful servant. I've got to finish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all, y'all ain't saying nothing. 
Y'all ain't saying nothing. So when he said finish, like y'all ain't hearing this, when he said finish, I started looking around. Sunday, I couldn't stay in my seat. I couldn't stay in my seat. Mother Gabbers, I couldn't stay in my seat. I couldn't help myself. Because you know, you got to get to a point that when that anointing come on you to finish, you got to prepare yourself to be hated. I can't get nobody to talk to me. Because see, the only people that hate somebody that's trying to bring a finished work is a person that never plans to finish. Because see, you got to understand something. The one thing that the devil hates, if he don't hate nothing else about you, if he don't hate nothing else about me, if he don't hate nothing else about your ministry, the devil hates order because he can't hide in order. He hides in chaos. I'm not hearing y'all. He hides in manipulation. He hides in disorganization. But when you start lining things up, he lose all his cracks. When you start lining it up. He lose all of his holes. He hated it when you start organizing because you got to snuff him out and then you got to expose him. Who am I talking to? You ain't got to bind the devil. Just get organized and your organization will bind him up and cast him out because the enemy hates order. He can't hide when it's clean. He can't hide when it's organized. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't saying nothing up in here. I couldn't stay in my seat Sunday. I couldn't stay in my seat Sunday. No, 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 no. And I can hear somebody, Dr. Johnson, saying, Why well, is she the pastor? No, I'm not the pastor. I'm a finisher. He the pastor. My job is, you ain't running that camera right. My job is, you didn't hang that right. My job is, no, this got to go over here. And that got to go over there. And that chair is in the floor. Because guess what? I put that, 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 that TV screen up there so I can see it all. Now move them cards. No, we a finisher. I'm not giving y'all. Come on, somebody. The only people that you attract to a half-done church is half-done people. I just said something right now. Y'all better come on here and say something up in here. If you want to be successful in your business, if you want to be successful in your ministry, if you want to be successful in what God has given you, get unfinished people from around you. Get people from around you that are disorganized, that do not want order. Who am I talking to? Because tonight, the Lord anoints you right there on Facebook, on television, to be a finisher. I just saw Take your seat I just saw I just saw Janelle walk in the doorway About About 40 minutes ago And she had She's preparing for, to speak at the UN as pastor's daughter. And while I was ministering, she walked in the doorway and she went. And then she said it again, she said, she was looking at the building. But while she was wowing, I was saying, but it ain't finished. Don't let nobody wow your half done work. Don't let nobody wow your half done spirit. I just said something right there. Holy Ghost, help me in this place tonight. Don't let nobody wow your talent when your spirit is messed up. I'm not hearing nobody talk to me, Lord Jesus. I need some help up in here. I thought I had some master students up in here. I told y'all, a compliment is a killer. Come on, somebody. Don't you be letting nobody wow you. And you know you nasty. Don't let nobody wow you when you know that God is working on you. I'm not keeping y'all. Don't let nobody wow you when the job that God has given you is not finished. This is not finished. Don't wow it. It ain't wow yet. 
It ain't wild yet till the stage is finished. It ain't wild yet till the lights is up. It ain't wild yet until this canvas acts up. It ain't wild yet until I'm talking to the nations from the platform that God has ordained. Y'all don't hear me? We wowing too quick. We wowing too quick. I'm done. Just play some song for me. You let the devil train your spirit to operate in what's half done. You will never complete an assignment in prayer. Because you will be the person that will get to the wow moment and think you have completed the assignment. Why well, I didn't get nobody to say nothing right there. You will be the person to keep getting to the fallout moment. You hit the first trimester, boo. You ain't even hit it yet. As long as you got all them feelings going on. Because you're not in the third dimension until you are without feelings. Because the flesh don't go there. You're not in the dimension of the Lord until you are operating in your knower and not your feelings. I'm saying something right there. Moses. I close with this. I'm, I'm telling I'm gonna be I'm gonna be working this for a minute. The power. When Saul educated me, languages, scholar, was persecuting the saints. Watch this. He was on. Y'all know the story, but I got to say it this way. He was on the road to Damascus. And Erica, he met the light. You got to be careful when people say, and I saw a bright light shine on me. But if that light didn't correct nothing in you, it's not the right light. Because the right light will only shine on what's wrong. It's a revealer of everything that's trying to hide. The real light is the revealer of what is dark in you that is portraying itself to be the light. Come on here, somebody. Do I have a master class in here tonight? Do I have a master class that's watching tonight? No, that's the purpose of the light. So the light comes on and the light reveals to him that you persecuted me. And he said, who is this talking? And he said, I'm Jesus. Can I paraphrase? I'm the finisher. And really what I'm trying to help you to understand, Paul, you are working in vain because you are messing with people that are already in the finished work. This is about me helping you. This ain't even about me saving them because they already finished. You the one out here getting ready to be lost. Because everyone that die, they die in the finished work. I'm trying to help you not die a fool. Are y'all hearing this? So the light blinds him for three days. And the light blinds him, and watch this. Come on, master class students, people that are watching. The light blinds him. And immediately his life is ushered into the third dimension. Because immediately God reaches over in the spirit realm and gives Ananias a vision. How do I know that this was third dimension navigation that we get ready to go into? Third dimensional navigation. Because Ananias was afraid of Saul in his flesh. And God had to take him up in this realm and say, I'm sending him to your house. 
Come on, somebody. And then he had to take him and watch this and blind him. And with all of his education, all of his knowledge, all of his hoorah and all of his wow, you had to be led like a baby. You had to be led like a baby. And I don't care who you think you are until you bring your spirit down for God to take you by your hand and call somebody to lead you to where God is about to take your life. I'm not here. You're not ready to go. And that's what's wrong with us. We think we're there. We think we know. I'm not hearing y'all. We in a generation where y'all think y'all know, but you haven't even started yet. Because until God blinds you to who you are, until God blinds you to what you think, oh my God, you do it until God blinds you to your own agenda. And he allows you to submit yourself and be led. God, where am I going? You're going to a person. That I have ordained. That ain't no preacher. God, I my side. You're going to a person that I have ordained to give you back your sight. I done already spoke to him. This ain't even about you know each other. This is divine. And the couldn't be in his feelings. Because in his feelings, he was scared. But in his will, he was willing to obey God. God sent a divine connection. Your divine connection is waiting. I'm talking to somebody. Come on, son. I said, your divine connection is waiting. God, I almost said to you. You know, God spoke to me. God spoke to me today. Some people out there watching. You don't have no church. And I'm not talking about people in the world because it's ain't to you. It's ain't to you. He said, open up the doors to sign the church for people. He said, because people need to be coming. What's coming now? You need to be coming. You need to be coming. Don't let the enemy put you in a wow that's going to cause you to be lost in this destiny. God is doing a pullback. Some of you all are wondering right now what's going on in my life? What's going on in my ministry? Why does it seem like I'm in a dormant place and it feels like I'm just stuck and I'm going nowhere? That's not true. God is in a pullback. He's in a pullback because he got to get you ready to finish. I feel something in this building right now. I feel something in this building right now. This whole message tonight is about reversal. It's about divine reversal. This whole message tonight, this whole message tonight is about the enemy causing you to be attached to something that he already knows cannot complete you. Relationships that is messing with your finish. God is talking to somebody tonight. Who is he talking to? Relationships that you're trying to make work, but they're hindering your finish. strong 
benediction because the finisher has spoken. Who, 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 who in here? Who in here besides me? Anybody in here besides me? Is there anybody in this room besides me that's saying, Dr. Bonham, I know I heard from the finisher. And I ain't got no business being incomplete in what he told me to do. Finish! My God, I feel the Holy Ghost on that. Next time I shout that somebody better start praising God because he said he gonna lose your spirit. Finish!
Somebody start telling the Lord you're available. Somebody start telling him. Turn on and tell three people. Tell three people I'm available. Oh, Jesus. Lord, I'm available to you. Oh, my will I give to you. Oh, y'all, do you mean it? I'll do what you say do. Just use me, Lord. this building you're watching you're watching you're watching by internet give me some envelopes you're watching by internet tonight has been a blessing to you your life has been blessed by this word by God go to the contact button or go to www.juanitamonim.com and sow your seed of 121 God is looking for finishers that's right somebody said well you know what I don't know but I'm going to tell you something this is as real of a church as any. What God got coming through that internet and through that television is just as real of a connection today as it is as if you were sitting in the sanctuary. If the Lord has blessed your life and touched your life, when God released to you his spiritual, you release your natural. When you sow a seed, God will change your life. Abraham laid down his seed offering in a figure eight and the spirit of the Lord walked through it and tonight every person that is watching by internet sow some kind of seed if you don't have 121 then sow 21 but God is doing something right now and you need to connect your seed with the finished work hit that button and let the devil know I'm a finisher I'm a finisher. I'm a finisher. All over this building. 121, come now. All over this building. 121, come now. All over this building. 121, come now. All over this building. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. My God, my God.